Okay, this is hunting for purple streetlights in Kansas City video 15. I just went through a roundabout on East Sheridan um, the cross street out the C. Let's see, this one is Stratford. I'm continuing east. I'm gonna go all the way east until um, US 69 basically and then turn around and then take another take the rest of my route here. Uh, the best way to use this video is to go to the description of this video and you'll you will see the time points for different features that I see in this video and I mentioned good because I annotate the videos this is a I'm doing research on where purple street lights are and other features that I think might be important in cities including the really yellow lights um, the mercury vapor lights that are green in camera, for example. And of course the defective purple street lights. The defective purple street lights emit a lot of uh, high spectra blue light that scatters really well. So if they did purposely put those purple street lights up because of their locations, there are other street lights, like I said, that are in important locations. But with the purple street lights, for something flying in the air, um, at night, they could see that scattered light if it's looking for it because the angles that it could see those lights at would still be Or it could still see that spectrum at least from those lights uh, Would be sh good for shallow angles sometimes for Like purple street lights that are behind like a tree or something like that. They've even done research with live like li-fi is what it's called with an L instead of a W um, and even at angles like I think up to maybe 15 degrees or it's more than 10 maybe 15 degrees or less They could still even exchange information Through that when there's not a direct line of sight between the ultraviolet light source and the sensor so I Don't think it's a coincidence that those lights just happen to be that color and they're put in those places for something flying in the air, like a drone or a bomber or anything like that, it could see that light. And it would only have to look for that light to find important areas in some kind of doomsday scenario. So I want to actually prove my point at least that those lights are put in important areas and that I don't think that they're just for, uh, I don't think they're just for like satellite or something. I don't even think they need them for satellite guys. How long have they been looking at satellite images? I mean, 20 decades. They don't need to, like, actually covertly make sure those lights are put up in certain places, even in, like, gated neighborhoods in Florida and in parking lots even, to make sure that they end up in those locations somehow, using other businesses and stuff like that to mark evacuation routes just so that they can visualize them from satellite so they know where they are. They don't need to know where they are. They can look at the freaking lights at night. That's a mercury vapor light. It's green on camera. So anyway, I've even had comments deleted for even just putting information about where the lights are. And I just recently recorded that uh, for a video about um, purple streetlights turning heads in Fort Myers. And I recorded it being deleted. And I recorded what the comments said. Okay, this is at Black Bob. But I'm going to continue beyond this right now. There is no reason for him to delete my comment, guys. I, I put multiple locations for where the lights were. I can put individual comments in there with locations for the lights. And I showed that because you can go there and you can find those comments unless they turn it off. You can see I can even number the comments up to like, what, four of them? on a single comment, but they were just like on basically six mile Cypress and RTs in Fort Myers. But when I started, when I mentioned one, some of the ones that are in Naples, which really basically borders Fort Myers, I mean, it's south of it, but yeah, when I did that, it deleted it because I put enough locations in there, <clears throat> I was making a point. I even did one where I numbered it the same way as the other comment and it deleted it. 
and I also recorded that. They care a lot about information about where those lights are, especially when you want to prove that they were set up on purpose in those places, even using businesses and even using homeowners associations, gated communities, etc. In combination with actual street lights too. Some of them were street lights. They just happened to be working together. The next phase would be to find out when they put those lights up, because if it was back in 2016, they knew that they could turn purple anyway. And they put them those up in the gated neighborhoods, right next to the gates, but they still were working on a map of the city. That improves that they intended to put those up. It also possibly proves that they knew they were gonna turn purple because of how aesthetic they look now, being in the places that they are. Some of them are not at the gates of neighborhoods. Sometimes they're at the corner of neighborhoods, just like in parking lots. So I, no, guys, there's something going on. They don't want to talk about it. And they know that if they admit that they're on purpose, that people can look at it and they can look at the elements of what I just said and put some of them together and be like, wait, what's going on? So there's a purple street light down there on uh, Flum. That's actually almost halfway between this, what I'm driving on here, 159th and 158th, I think, up there. An interesting route to take, actually, we could take it. So that's kind of close to this road, but I figured maybe this route right here, I might actually do a little detour here, because I actually want to see, since we're already right here, if they have anything on Gillette, actually, though, that's a gated neighborhood. There is a through road here eventually that's far enough away that it would be only be basically this road possibly that a person could take, not Park Hill. I think it's probably this one right here. <coughs> Never mind, this is a neighborhood. <coughs> no, this isn't even it. So like it's way out here because these roads don't connect. Like for a parallel route to that, to Flum, from what I am guessing about the radius of the, how those lights work based upon what I've seen. Which is another reason it's interesting because in, in Florida, it seems apparent that at least groups of light, groups of lights have a range of maybe um, at least a block. Sometimes though individual cases look like they may have a range of a block based upon where they are and the important roads are. It sounds like it could be circular, but actually, no, if you look at enough cases, you, you get um, get a realistic, uh, I'm trying to get a word. You basically learn how the lights are distributed. And I've been doing this for 16 months. And I know exactly why they deleted my comments and they don't want them to stay on the newscast comments. In fact, that's why I recorded it. Because if people accept that, they can start working with that as a premise in their conclusions, or even in asking more questions. And when they do, I think what they would find out is those lights are there, and they may have been put up before the pandemic on purpose, but in those places to be able to uh, stop people from leaving their cities somehow. Possibly in the middle of night when most people are sleeping anyway. To be found from the air. Please, if you see this video, go back and you check. See what I'm talking about. Look at my recording of it. The comments, the number of comments that it said that it had weren't even the same number as were in the actual um, comments below. And I have recorded that. Like there was some kind of bug. I even, I went back, I um, deleted the cookies, I uh, 
erased my history and went back and browsed too and looked at it. It didn't matter. It wasn't even that it was recognizing me. It makes me wonder what people see in Southwest Florida. Did they see those comments? I asked somebody in Minnesota and what they described uh, was five comments instead of six comments at the time. But it said three comments, just like it did for me. So, it, what did it say in Southwest Florida, though? You see how there's a problem with censorship? It's not funny, guys. It isn't funny anymore. When they can decide what they can censor and not censor. Fifteen minute cities, even if it's not something really nefarious for like gassing people and them not being able to leave or something like that. If it's even like in Europe, what they want to start doing to some of the roads and some of the cities to basically take them away so areas are not connected anymore. They have to go all the way around. Even if it's not for like an immediate nefarious purpose, what could happen eventually with, I don't know, a solar flare or a war or something like that where the other communications are cut or something like that or if they rewire the internet or something like that and people can't leave or something like that how do they know that they have the right information in their sector I don't know it's hard to imagine it getting that bad at least in the United States but It's good to be able to actually communicate and not have what you say censored. Oh, so it says road closed ahead. So we're gonna have to turn around here. Let's see. So this is the point that I wanted to go to on this. There's usually a way to turn around here. There's obviously an arrow. So this does not go over US 69 because of the construction. As it is, even with the pandemic, I have questions about that. But the mutations, the already helicase NSP13, and like how it looks like it's evolutionarily related to SARS CoV 1, distance wise, and still how identical it is almost, almost freaking identical at the amino acid level, and then how it mutated in the pandemic. It makes no sense to me. I don't even think the virus kept spreading. If that information is correct, I don't think it just kept spreading around. It kept being released in batches in a lab and it had to mutate certain ways before they released it for it to successfully replicate or something, guys. I want to know, I want to know why, I don't know, would we ever know how many people really freaking care about it and get mad and want to tell people about it? I guess I'll take Antioch, but I'm actually trying to remember what was after this because I can't remember if I'm taking that road or not. If it's no, take this up to 135th Street.
7th Street, so another two blocks. About the RNA Hilo case, though, like one of the publications, the one that I keep remembering is uh, Pub Bed Number 33589648. If you look at that one, at the mutations, you look at the amino acid sequences for SARS CoV 1, SARS CoV 2, for NSP 13, the amino acid sequences, and the mutations then. And also look at how the mutations were grouped together. It's, uh, it's weird, guys. Does the, does the virus even recombine? Did it recombine? I actually looked for that information. What I found seemed like they were trying to suggest something without saying it too. And also using other people in the video asking questions and stuff like that to suggest it as well. And they use like different orders of, um, like, no, it's hard to explain. I don't really actually, I'm not a math whiz but I kind of understood it just a little bit. It's like really complicated math, but so it's beyond like what I really understand. But basically there are ways of uh, like, an or like an order reaction, like in chemistry, like zero order would be something like decaying. First order, did I get that right? Okay. For, there's first order, second order, like a second order reaction would be like two different molecules bumping into each other for something to happen. Uh, three molecules bumping into each other is really, really rare and hardly ever happens in chemistry. But all those conditions have to be the same, right? Well, it's, it's something like, think about it like that, but with recombination though of genes. And he was talking about the, the virus and I don't think then that it seems like it even recombines with anything else. So I don't know, with the mutants, did they ever recombine? Um, I don't know. Maybe it was just one batch at a time released <clears throat> when they had their little strains. And coronaviruses are supposed to recombine really well, like if they're put in the same cell. If they are co-infecting something, they should recombine. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's really going on, guys? Frankly, I'm sick and tired of the censorship. The realization of, uh, you know, even just, I don't know how many jobs you guys have had if you're watching this, but just think of your jobs, like how you learn what you're supposed to do, especially if it's a desk job of any kind, any kind of non-physical labor kind of job, especially. Like what they tell you to do, what they really mean when they say it, what they don't really mean and what they want you to to take ownership of make your own decisions about make it your fault okay so I'm just going to pay attention to Brian I need to take a left on to If our government operates that way, it's really freaking scary, okay? For them to represent us. They're telling each other, let's represent these other people. I don't like it really, I get any better what they mean when they say that. Wink. And the political array that the fact that we have two political parties that continue to exist is, is freaking weird, guys. Okay, I think I missed the turn, actually. But, maybe I didn't. So. But actually, I haven't driven the whole way under, on 135th Street, so I'm actually going to continue, and then I'm going to turn around and go over to uh, Borough or Baham or whatever it's called that I was on before. Okay, this is Rose Hill. Look at the 
right lane just so we can see the yellow lights. Oh, we have cones right here. This is Richards. Yellow lights, really yellow lights. So I'm gonna go to the point at least where this becomes Santa Fe, probably. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name. Merlin, I don't need to go any further than Merlin, basically. Why they put trees in the middle? Of the okay, so now we got two really yellow ones here, and then two that are not. This intersection. Ooh, what was that? Actually, I didn't read the street. Woodstone. Because black foot. This is the road I'm gonna turn. Okay. All right, so we're almost there. I think anyway, this should be like Merlin over here probably. <coughs> Got some really yellow lights here in the lot over here. This is it because I already saw these yellow lights before. But let's see, I think I saw these yellow lights before. Yeah, this is, these are the yellow lights from video 11, which ended early on the left. So if we continue that way, eventually we would reach uh, Ridgeview. All right, so now I'm gonna take it right at those lights over there. I'm going to take a path all the way down to 59th Street, or I'm sorry, 159th Street. <laughs> so notice there's a yellow light on the left here. I doubt that's even a coincidence, but I haven't looked at it on the map. The changes are actually don't even have to be that dramatic, and they still seem to to be uh, at important points, like their marking areas. Okay. Whether they're really the real thing or not, like maybe they're just there to distract or like, I don't know, from the purple lights or what, that sounds pretty far out, but they're like the opposite color of the purple lights. It's kind of weird, right?
36th. Back cat. Sycamore. Something in man, I think is what it's. <laughs> I didn't see the actual continent at the beginning. 139th Street. Oh, this says no Allah. Oh, that's right. That's right. So that's a dead end there. We have to take a left here on 139th, and then take a right again to continue on uh, Baham. I think is what it's called. Almost bought ham, right? But if you almost bought ham, what did you do? Did you steal it or did you buy beef or what? Oh, bra, never mind. Bra ham. Bra ham. Almost like brought ham, but. There's a green light to the right and also a blue light to the right and a neighboring house is there on 140th. Uh, 141st Street, I'd say the maybe the second or third house for the blue one and then the, the third or the fourth house for the green one on the left side if you're, look, if you're looking to the right. Okay, this is 141st. Ham something. I don't know if it's the same as it's probably not the same as this. Uh, green light there, like right at the door. You can actually see the light directly. Okay, this is 143rd Street that we just drove down before, going up like we were going uh, eastward. says road work ahead the reason I'm taking this road is it's a continuous route there's actually a continuous route that goes through the neighborhoods that I so I wanted to make sure I do through neighborhood driving too and this would be one where I don't know it's like kind of a main enough road one person can keep driving on it it's just not it's not like driving down a straight road but And I mean, I didn't have to stay on the same named road, but I picked the same named road because they both ended in a roundabout down um, at 167th, I think. <clears throat> and I wanted to pick two roads. Some kind of light that's probably bluish on the side. Yeah, it is. I don't know if that's. Oh, that could be because the lights underneath it, though. I'm not sure. Or those are distracting from the light, which may sound, it sounds crazy, but in Florida, I know of a case where they had that was a defective light. I don't. I could not prove it, but it looked just like a defective light. It was near other defective lights, but it was on a porch, though. The other ones were actually in the neighborhood, like on uh, was it? North Light Road near Lakewood and Davis in Naples, not far from the airport. 
behind a building so you can't even see it from the main roads but I saw it because I took Lakewood and I just noticed it on the porch and I looked to the left and I saw the other ones there. I went there and I checked and they're defective lights. They even had every other, well not no, not every other light, like every however many lights. They were basically an in, in, in interval between lights that were actually defective. Some of them were not very purple or pink, so it was not very easy to tell, but on camera, it's, the cameras don't lie for that kind of thing. This one doesn't. It shows it as very blue. And I also saw the heterogeneity inside, so I know it was LEDs. And that porch light was like that, but they had other like purplish lights around it too, kind of like distracting from it, like kind of camouflaging it. It's not, it wasn't an accident, they purposely set that up. Okay, this is 151st Street, and I recorded it, it's in a video, driving around Naples, video, I'm not sure what it is. I don't know, if I'm gonna guess, it might say like four or five, but I can't really remember. Driving around Naples, Florida at night, I think. And that number, all those numbers. Yeah, Naples taught me taught me some stuff. Like basically how they set that up. That's they're doing this shit on purpose. They even make it look like they're micromanaging or deca managed over here sometimes. Of course they do have groups of lights though, at intersections even. Sometimes. Sometimes they do have them in parking lots here. Near the near Interstate 35 and uh, what's the name of that road? In video, seven maybe. It might be like video seven. I can't quite remember. There it is. where the buses are. Sometimes individually though, they still have a larger range than just right on the road. So. One example where the LEDs were just starting to change and it was hardly detectable at all and even the light next to it was almost the opposite color of it it didn't matter that that one was still put right where it would be put and I only saw it because I wondered why that other light was tan and I looked to the right of it and noticed the other one might be slightly pinker than the other ones but it's kind of deceptive especially with the with other lights that were in the background there and I already did a video about it It sounds like it, um, almost like I have to basically contradict what I think in different things that I say. But I still know that there's something important about them, or it could just be a way to make us think that they're doing that. I'm not sure which one it is, but, um, yeah, the purple lights are on purpose, and they set them up in the places that they set them up, and those are higher frequency spectra that can be seen better for by aircraft without directly seeing it. Near evacuation points. At about the time of the pandemic, but some of them turned up before the pandemic. I'm not even gonna say that they couldn't just freaking turn up the wattage, like increase what was going to them and maybe make them turn purple or sooner. Who knows? Okay, I'm gonna pause this real quick. Okay. Continuing here. So I'm turning around now because I reached 59th Street and I've already been on this road south of, I'm sorry, 159th Street. 
Oops. Now I'm going to go north here. And we've been here before, but we have the really yellow lights there. And then it's dark over there. This is where the yellow lights start. If you're going, uh... oh, there is a mercury vapor light though over there for some reason. Anyway, I don't know if that's a cycling light or what. Okay, so this is 158th Street. I'm going to take a right at 156th Terrace and I'm going to follow, um, basically try to follow Blackfoot up as far as I can, which was a road actually before this one when we were on 135th Street and I was looking for this road. Just so I can take a unique path without just backtracking over the same one. Okay, so this is circle this is it right here <clears throat> okay I'm gonna try to remember the path here cuz I try to memorize it so here we go we're gonna first go into like black feather or something like that and then 53rd Terrace and then take the right and Blackfoot, I think. Okay, this is, it's kind of straight enough for it to make here. So these lights are actually, I'd say, is that just freaking really yellow? Maybe they really are really yellow. They're just smaller panels. Yeah, they're really yellow, guys. They're just smaller LED panels. Okay. Blackfoot. Oh no, that's no outlet, so it's too early. Okay. But a bunch of branches to the left for some reason. Then we have this right here. Why? I don't know. Oh, that looks like a freaking pile of gravel right there. Okay. Black feather. Okay, so that's to the right. Then there should be a black feather to the left here. Looks like yellow lights continue. Oh, I can only see the next two of them. So. All right, now on this road, black feather. Hundred and fifty four terrace. I don't see any special lights. When I see anything special, I'll let you guys know. Okay, it was probably this is 153rd, okay. So before I took a right, actually it's like a fork actually. I think that said 153rd. Let's see. It could have been 152nd then. We should come to a T anyway. Blackfoot Drive, okay, yeah, we can take a right here at least in any case. Oh, that's actually the one I meant to take, though. Okay. I think I might have just seen something. I don't know if it... I don't know what it's coming from, but I'm not sure. Okay. Now when I say that, it sounds like I planned the route because I knew something's there. But I actually I don't. I don't know. Oh, I did see something blue to the right, though. Actually, I'm not going to worry about it, but I think I saw something blue down there. That sucks now, not actually knowing for sure. Because I didn't directly see it. I know that there's something blue on the second one. The first one, it was just possibly barely reflecting off something. There's actually a blue light behind us in someone's yard next to their driveway. Well, that's kind of frustrating, actually, because that's just a bunch of points that sound like they're the same. The, the last one is just a small little hockey puck shaped kind of light. Um, but then the top isn't lighting up. Okay, that's what it was and we will build. You wouldn't be able to see it because it's behind the car. Okay. All right. So this is Blackfoot again here. I'm taking a left onto. 
here on 151st. Okay, now at this point, I think we've got to take a we have to take a left again. So these are really yellow lights, but just smaller. We have to take a left on 100 and. Seventh and forty nine. I don't know if these gold are gold or yellow. I guess I, I don't know. The panels are different size. Okay. see some green to the I saw some green to the right it's almost worth going and checking because now I say that and then I saw some green somewhere to the right over there and I would guess it was maybe four or five houses down but I couldn't directly see all of it I think but there might have been multiple light sources okay all right I didn't want to take the left here actually stop Seminole okay there's a blue light there This house here, right on the corner, actually. All right. Um, I think I was supposed to take a right, though. I'm pretty sure I was actually. turned from, but I should have taken a right, and then taken Kaw, K-A-W. Okay. okay, and then I'll take a, let's see, that was a right, then I have to take a left again, I think, when we get to 100. Also 147, but I don't know if they're the same name, like the same suffix for like what it is, like Street Road, Terrace. Okay, this is 146th. Or maybe it's 144th, I'm trying to Maybe it's 144th. Okay, 144th, so now we gotta go left. Stay in car. Okay, 
or is that the I can't remember what's again that. Anyway, not a road to like street race on or anything like that anyway. This is actually a through way though. I'm just Okay, this this is freaking man, this is some shit right here. Definitely yeah. Like one vehicle could freaking block this. Oh, there's also a Mercury Vapor Light right there too. Guess where this is guys? This is where I'm taking a left. And Some blue right there. I forgot this was on a cord. All right, so there you go, guys. There's that mercury vapor light right there. Nice, solid. Visually, it's like just kind of green. I don't know if I should call it a green one or not, but it's a big mercury vapor light. Okay, and then I'm going to take a left here onto uh, Black Bob. So I've already seen Black Bob up to about this point. In uh, video 12, this is like one of the last places that I was. Uh, oh, we have cones right there. Okay, I'm going to take a left. Going to continue here. I don't know if I went this far or not. There's some yellowish lights on the school there. Really small though, it really matters. We did just see a bunch of yellowish lights in the residential area though, so I don't know what to think about that for sure. I, they're really yellow, but they might have like a hint of gold in it basically. They're not the same though as the lights that we saw on Ridgeview down to 167th though. So there's a subtle difference between some of the lights, but I don't know why. I don't know if there's an important difference or what. <clears throat> this is 138th Street. We've got some digging equipment stuff right there. Still got cones here. Oh, wait, I forgot. Yeah, we still got it. We've already been here. My bad, guys. I was thinking we were north of right where I forgot the numbers go down instead of go up, basically. I'm going north of it. Okay, this is 135th Street, and so we have been just like a block or two north at this point here on Black Bob. To the right, there are like two of those. Yeah, we just saw this even in this video. So, 135th Street. Actually, Quivier and Switzer were after this. For some reason, I was thinking Black Bob was the last one, or one of the last ones. Was not. Okay. That's why I actually kind of got confused. To find out the road. Okay, 129th. Okay, 
that these lights are off. You know, actually I don't see that happen as much here in Kansas, I just realized that. So there are three of those lights off in a row for some reason over here. In Florida though, it happens a lot. Even other places outside of Florida it happens. stuff about them being off in Georgia. So we're going to take this all the way to um, Strange Line. Or Strang Line, something like that. It's a lot like State Line. I don't know if that's for... It's really weird. I gotta really wonder why stuff like that. Why, why are roads similar or named the same sometimes in different places that are not far from each other, like neighboring cities or counties? Okay, we got some cones here. I don't know what's with that. This is uh, 119th Street. There is something really freaking pretty. It's like purple visually, but it's probably really blue on camera. Okay, 118th Street. I can hear birds. Okay, this is string line, okay. So, I'm gonna take a right. There are cones here for some reason. I don't know why. Eventually, I'm gonna take a right onto college, I think. these lights are yellow like on both poles. This one on the left, I don't know actually, they're probably about the same color. Okay, the cones stop. <clears throat> Why do they have those cones there, guys? These are yellower lights here, so I would guess that there's something important either about the road that's went past or they're usually close to the roads though for those, so far the examples that I saw. These are yellower right here, I think. College, so we're gonna take it right in College Boulevard. I'm gonna take this all the way to Null. It'll only be redundant just for a short, short time. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna take go to the right here. I could almost go down College for a while and see all the way to somewhere, but I don't know where right now. So I'm just gonna go east. Plus, this video is almost an hour. This video will probably be. I'm trying to 
decide if I should just start another video because I don't want this to be so long I can't annotate it. Basically, okay, we got. Cones, just like a couple of them, a few of them on the left, and then we have more cones here. And this is that flum in college. There are some neon and black lightish lights at the bar over there. Is Hauser or Hauser? Okay, those look yellow, and then those are call box lights over there. I don't know. This is Westgate. I think when we get to Null, I'm going to start a new video, but I'm just not sure how long that video is going to be, but at least I'll be able to annotate the next video. Let's put it that way. Let's do that. It's tempting to kind of take Null all the way down. See, this is Quivera. I suppose I could do that. I could take Null down to the point where we've already been on it, which would be, let's see, 143rd. That's really not that far, actually. And then when I get back up to college, just end it and let's start there. Okay, there are some cones over there. Oh wait, this is an 135th though. Actually, I'm not sure how long I've ever that. Like a truck that is. County. It's like a hospital or something. To the right. Good work ahead. This is Naaman Road. Got some cones on the left and then some really bright blue color. Kind of deep blue. The apex is what this says. City place. So that's what we see here, and over there, it's like a display. Actually, it's like a video. It's weird. Okay, and then this is 69 here. So we got those little cones on the right. Why we have these cones here, I have no idea. And then we also have that right there. And we have like a little sidewalk closed sign there. Oh, and a dicker behind it actually. See the arm? That's where you see the left. The reason I'm interested in that is, I don't know, can those sidewalk signs, like if there are a couple of them in an area, could they make a, I don't know, some fake road closed? kind of set up with cones and that that are in areas near each other and they could just start digging or what you know there's a cone to the right okay it's darker over here there is a multi-story building right there
Mastin, is what this is called. Fencing on the right. There's a clearing the fence. I don't know what's behind it. I, some kind of security. I saw like a red light and like LED. Green circle and grant. So we're actually basically at an hour. Um, there are other roads that I want to take anyway. At some point, maybe if I do this, if I keep going. But we're so close to an hour and even going down now might be more than I want to actually do for annotation for this video. So let's just... Oh, I already got to Antioch, so I missed it somehow. Okay, so I'm going to... That's weird. Oh, no, we haven't gone under US... Never mind, we haven't gone under US-69 yet. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking Nell was on this side, but just like a minute or so ago, I remember that it was. I don't think we've seen any purple lights in this video, have we? No purple street lights. Okay, we have blue on the left here. This is at Lowell and College. I can see a mercury vapor light in the distance. Another one maybe next to it on the left slightly. I think now is going to be like the next one here. So, and that's all I'm going to do for this video. And then I'm going to continue here uh, once we get to somewhere between here and 435. And now. Okay, this is Lamar. Detour, oh, I couldn't read that sign. It was laying on the ground, they haven't put it up yet. Okay, we have two cones here. It might have said 123rd or something like that. But I'm not. See some really deep blue reflecting off the window. Here, I think this might be no one actually that we're coming up to. I couldn't even freaking read this enough to know. Okay. 
All right, so that's all I'm gonna do in this video. I'm stopping this video. I guess it'll be a video 16 here. Okay, here we go.